So we're here in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, at uh, one of the largest convenings in the world for the intersection of money and meeting, and that is the Social Capital Markets Conference, or SOCAP 11. And right now, this is a real pleasure to be sitting here with Kevin Starr, who's a good friend, a mentor, um, and is the director of the Malago Foundation. And I believe, Kevin, you are known for your conversations and your relentless dedication towards impact. And so before we get into what you do, I'd love to start at that more um, meta level and dive into some details. But to you, what, what is impact? To know your impact, you need four things. You need to really be clear on your mission, what you're setting out to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You need to know what you'd measure to know that and be very focused about that. You need to know how to get real numbers that, that mean something, yeah. that can really show that a change happened or it didn't. Yeah. And then you need a way to understand what the difference was between what happened with you and what would have happened without you. Yeah. Microfinance actually is a good example yeah. um, where they looked at their activities, which was giving loans mm -hmm. to many, many people, and they looked at behavior, which was people paying back those loans, mm -hmm. and assumed that if they were giving loans to people who wanted loans, and that those people were paying the loans back, that they must be better off. And when uh, a number of researchers started doing more rigorous, randomized, controlled trials mm -hmm. of microfinance, what they started seeing was it was a mixed bag. Yeah. That a lot of people, maybe 25%, a third, were uh, really getting out of poverty, making a real vault yeah. out of poverty, a cons uh, getting somewhere. And then 50% seemed, you know, 30 to 50% seemed like they were a little better off, but essentially they were where they started. Yeah. The kicker was, and the, the, the bummer, was that maybe 25% of people were worse off because these loans are not cheap. You know, the average interest rate, at least a few years ago, was 35%. Mm. And uh, if you don't have something productive to do with, a, with money that's that expensive, yeah. you know, it's, Risky. Like, it's like your Visa mm -hmm. card. Yep. And so what's been useful for us is to think about idea, delivery, yep. behavior, impact. Mm. So that your delivery is how well did you execute on your idea? Mm. And did that change behavior in the way that you believed it would? And did that behavior have the impact you were looking for? We, we've been talking a lot about entrepreneurs and how they can measure their impact. Yeah. Of course, we're, we're out here at SOCAP focused on, on the capital markets. How, how does the investment community play a role into this? And, and how can they make certain that their dollars are, are, are actually leading, leading to actual impact? Most impact investing I hear about is about people being willing to take a lower return, get a lower return on their investments in order to have social impact or to maximize social impact. And the opportunity cost of that money, what they're foregoing in terms of return compared to what they could get if they went for market rates of return, well, that's a kind of philanthropy. They're, they're donating that. They ought to know what they're getting for their donation. Mm -hmm. And so the difficult thing is trying to figure out, given that measuring impact has really little effect on the bottom line, um, how do we make the pitch that people need to pay for it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's got to be a commitment coming from the investor side, because um, even if organizations do want to measure the impact, they got to have the money to pay for it, and only their investors can make sure that the conditions happen such that they can. Hmm. And last question for, for our conversation. Um, if you could predict the future, what is this place going to look like? What, what are the conversations that are going to be had at SOCAP five years from now? What do you think will be the challenges, and, and what will people be talking about? What I hope is that, um, and I'm actually fairly optimistic about this, that this notion of looking seriously at impact really takes hold. So that in five years, we're taking all these, you know, I, 
I haven't met anybody here who isn't completely serious about making the world a better place. Yeah. And the only way um, I know of to start sorting that out is some real data. Yeah. And what I'm hoping is that in five years, a, a meeting like SOCAP is really using a broad commitment to understand impact to start defining where money can go at what, what kind of rates of return to accomplish what. Sounds like pretty good time in five years. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm an optimist. All right, it was well. Thank you so much, Kevin. All right, it's that my pleasure. Awesome. Yeah, let's hang Great. out soon. Done.